We've had the clouds this morning and it always leads to some really pretty sunrise photos. A lot of our viewers are sending in some beautiful pictures early this morning. We still have some clouds around, but it will give way to mostly sunny skies throughout the afternoon hours. Our old mill camera shows us those high clouds kind of drifting on through the valley and it is going to knock the temperatures down just a little bit mostly cloudy up in the higher elevations, kind of the calm before the storm that is going to bring snow, quite a bit of snow to our mountains. This is a cold storm coming in. We'll see the clouds increasing around the Zion area, but I don't think we're really going to see any precipitation in the south, at least as it looks right now. But it will get cloudy and it will get a lot cooler. Temperatures are cooler this morning. So as that little cool front is sliding on through, it's going to be a slightly cooler day but we will see a little bit more sunshine by the afternoon. Some cool stuff yesterday around Billings over to Spokane, 57 degrees. Again, we were right in the middle with 69, which is above normal. Still toasty hot, 88 degrees yesterday around Phoenix. Winds are fairly light, but these are going to be picking up. As the storm systems increase, we are going to see or move in. I should say the winds are going to increase. By Wednesday afternoon, we're going to talk about very strong southwesterly winds coming in midday, continuing through the day on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, as that first storm system drops in, we're going to see quite a bit of wind as well. So the high clouds today will be drifting across the state and really just diminishing. We've got a few showers trying to sneak into the Four Corners region. Region, but I think we're going to stay dry until this area of low pressure moves in. It's going to be a digging low. Okay, so we're getting into a stormy pattern. This high is sitting off through the Pacific, and we're going to see these lows dropping right on through the upper Midwest, or I should say the inner mountain west. We've already got winter warnings in effect. Areas in pink under a winter storm warnings. We've got winter storm watches in the areas in blue. If your travels are taking you up through Yellowstone, tell you what, they're going to see a lot of snow with this storm system. So there's that low that's going to dig in. There's a lot of moisture and it's going to flatten that uh, jet stream and it's going to dive right on through. So the first storm system arrives on Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon. Very, very cold air with this one. There's another storm that's going to sneak in here. I'm a little concerned the Saturday, Sunday storm, how much precipitation we're going to have. We are going to have a lot of cold air, but we'll have to see how much precipitation we end up with. So for Thursday, winds pick up Wednesday, very cloudy. The front rolls in Thursday morning with rain, maybe a few snowflakes for the rush hour. Mountain snow will become heavy to 7,000 feet. Then we'll have partial clearing late. First freeze will be coming in on Saturday morning, or I should say Friday morning. Wednesday, Thursday, again, the precip is going to pick up late Wednesday, Thursday. We'll have to see as we head into the weekend how much precip we'll have, but we are going to have a lot of cold air. Today will be cooler. 66 degrees for an afternoon high, 60s in Provo price. A lot of us in the 60s until you get into southern Utah where we'll hold in the 70s. Tonight we will see the winds starting to pick up as the night wears on into morning. 49 degrees for an overnight low. Southern Utah, we are going to look at a mostly sunny day. Very windy coming in with these storm systems. I kept the showers out possibly on Thursday. We'll have to wait and see on that, but staying windy and getting very chilly. Even down into southern Utah, temperatures are going to be extremely cool. And then on Wednesday, showers come into northern Utah late Wednesday. Windy showers through most of the day on Thursday, maybe a few wet snowflakes. Then the showers come to an end. And then rain showers coming in late later in the evening on Friday into Saturday, and then snow showers, even a few snowflakes on Sunday morning. So very cold period ahead. Temperatures overnight will stay below freezing through the weekend.